Hello, I'm Adriano Mudri. I'm the director of design at Rimac Automobili. Huh, it's a long story, but I'm trying to make it short. So, uh, we've been introduced by a mutual acquaintance in 2010. He was looking for uh, Croatian designers to do something cool with his BMW. And uh, this, our common acquaintance knew also me, so he recommended me. We met in a bar, we had a couple of talks, and uh, he, he thought I'm the right guy to continue with the job. And uh, yeah, we, since, ever since we, we worked together. Mm. Well, on the, the highlight on the Nevera is, of course, this beautifully sculptured body side. And it's uh, a reminiscence of the concept one already. So we have these two double curved lines that point to the to the cravat, and of course the beautiful uh, surfacing and sculpture of the hood. And especially when you sit inside and you see these two domes. So uh, yeah, I mean also in the interior the knobs. This is this is some really cool features that no other car has. Huh. Yeah, well, some of the biggest struggles was to keep the front overhang short and to fulfill everything that is required for the US homologation, the pendulum tests and so on, and uh, to keep the driver safe. So everything when it comes to integrating all the safety systems, the airbags and all the trajectory uh, that the passenger does when you're not, unbelt when you're not belted, uh, yeah, this was, this was the trickiest. And of course the technical stuff like uh, cooling all the systems down and so on. You know? But uh, all in all, my job was easy because uh, the powertrain and the architecture that we have already provides for a great package. Hmm. The lightning motifs is really easy because it's an EV, so everybody associates lightnings with electrical cars. Uh, but the Nevera itself, the name, is a, a sudden and strong storm that is typical in Croatia at the Adriatic Sea. So it was uh, an, easy, an easy thing to, to choose this name for this car. Because it has the heritage and also the technical connotation of electricity in it. Hmm. Well, designing an electric car, in this case, especially for our car, was different because we could distribute the whole powertrain all over the car. So we don't have a big engine block behind the seats or in front of the seats, but we could actually spread it on where they belong. So we have a motors, we have two motors for the front and two motors for the rear. And the battery itself, we could shape into the, into the mold that we wanted for it to have the best package and the best, um, how you say, the best uh, accommodation of the other components. Uh, on a combustion engine, uh, you have to have you have to integrate the exhaust system and the fuel system and so on. So, you know, when it comes to this, the heat management and everything was uh, much easier uh, to to control on on an EV than on a combustion engine. Ah. Okay. Well. When, when I design and when my team's designs, then uh, we want to be the best of the best, of course. So we, we, aim, we aim for the best competition there is and we try to be a little bit above. Um, everybody that sees the design can judge for themselves if we achieve that or not. But we want to keep it on a really high level and of course have uh, the automotive standard as a given especially for this sort of cars that we design and produce. Oh, the design ideas come every day. So the inspiration for this project or for any task that you have comes from every day's, uh, from every day's uh, situation. So everything can influence uh, your, your design and your ideas. Is it just a regular car that drives by? Is it some, some song that you hear? Is it a sentence that your colleague says or just a article that you read on the internet? Everything really then accumulates on a daily basis into new and fresh ideas that you distill down into cool designs. Huh. Well, I'm a big fan of the Countach, Lamborghini Countach. Uh, that's, that was one of my, my favorite cars when I was a kid. 
and there was of course the Bugatti EB 110. Uh, I still remember having a little scale model of this in the blue color and yeah this was definitely one of my favorites you know? and I was always racing the EB 110 with the Ferrari F40 so yeah th these were these were definitely one of my favorite most favorite designs uh, growing up Yes, I always like cars and I always like playing. Yeah, and car design is just a big game that I like to play. Uh, I, I prefer to drive the bicycle, uh, but here in Croatia it's not uh, really possible because there is no routes for the bicycle, so I drive a Audi A3. In the near future, uh, I hope to see Rimac in the near future on the top of the top and having uh, many cars driving on the road and happy customers. Thank you, Thank you guys. Yeah.